All right, everybody, we're going to take this hollow sphere that I created and we're going to put some holes in it so you can see how those holes work. First thing we're going to do is um, make it kind of like a bead in a way. So we're going to make a hole that goes uh, through both ends. And in order to do that, we have to first start with a sketch plane. All right, we got to start with a sketch. And uh, I can do a sketch in lots of different ways. Um, but since I know this hole is going to go through the two ends of my sphere, I can just create it on the top plane. And then I can have it go through um, the, the sphere. So I'm just going to create a circle right at the center point. All right, I'm going to hit check mark. So I have my circle in the middle of my sphere. And then if I want to extrude, you'll notice that I can't really select that very easily, and that's because it's inside the sphere. So I'm going to select Sketch 2 from my browser. Now it's going to work. So I'm going to do Remove. I'm going to choose Through All. And I'm actually going to, um, if I want this to go both directions, so if I do Through All, it's just going to go through this one side. All right, but it won't go both directions. And so what I actually need to do here is I need to choose symmetric. And I need to choose to just make it go all the way through. So I'm going to do depth of three. All right, so that's definitely going to go through both sides. Check. So now I have, there's my hole into my sphere going through both sides. All right, well, let's say uh, I only want it to go through one side. Then what I would do is I would go into here. I'd, instead of doing symmetric, I would choose uh, maybe up to next. And then I have to choose what I'm going to use. So up to next is right up to the inside of that circle. That's not really what I want. So that's not going to do anything. If I do up to face, then I get to choose what face I want it to go to. So right now you can see I can click on the ball. So I'm going to click on the ball. So now it's going to go to the outside of that ball that direction. I can switch directions. It's still going to the outside of the ball, but just the other way. All right, so I can do up to face that way. Um, part is going to do the same thing. Not a big deal. All right, so that's how you could create a hole and a part uh, from the inside. The other thing you could do is, I'm gonna go ahead and check mark that. Um, let's say maybe I wanted to make another hole that goes through this direction, um, but maybe I wanna go from the outside of the surface in a little bit, but I don't, and I don't want that hole to go all the way through the shell. Well then, um, first of all, I have to know the thickness of my shell. So if I change, if I go back to my shell, right now the thickness is 0.05, if I make it 0.1, all right, it's going to be a little bit thicker, but my extrude's still going all the way through. All right, that gives me a little thickness to work with. All right, so let's say I want to do a sketch, and uh, because I don't want it to come from the inside and bust out, I want it to be like a little dimple into the outside, then I need to make my make a separate sketch plane. Oops, and I need to start that plane first. So I'm going to make a plane, and I'm going to choose. I want it to be parallel to the right plane, so I'm going to click on the right plane, and you'll notice that it has an offset. All right, I can offset that whatever distance I want to. Right now, if I use the current offset, it's still on the sphere. That's not really what I want, so I might tell it to be two inches off. Okay, and even though that's way offset from it, that's going to be just fine. I'm going to hit the check mark. I'm going to come over here. Let's say for this one, I want to make a square divot. So I'm going to choose sketch, and I'm going to choose that sketch plane right there that I just created. And I'm going to make a square. I'm going to do a center point rectangle. So there to there, I said I wanted it to be a square, so we'll do a point 0.4, enter, and point 0.4, enter. Oops, four, point 0.4, enter. All right, there's my square. All right. Now, when I go to extrude this, I'm going to have to be kind of careful. 
All right, I don't have really a surface that I can use. Um, so I'm going to do extrude that. I want to do remove, and I want to go that direction. If I choose blind one inch, then notice that it goes in a little bit. So there's kind of like a, oops, kind of like a square slot cut into it, and then eventually there's a circle opening because it goes deep enough. All right. I can also choose um, up to next. Okay, that's not going to do a whole lot because the next surface is that surface. I could choose up to face. And now, if I choose, this is going to be where it's nice to have a hole in here. If I choose the inside face, then it's going to make a square hole all the way to the inside face. All right. Now, let's say that. Um, I really, really, really want to just go to the surface of, uh, or through a certain part of this surface. Well, then this method's not going to work because my plane is way off of that. So instead, I need to make a sketch plane that is right on the edge of that ball. Well, the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I can see the limits of that ball. So I'm going to turn that sketch on. Okay, so I turned my first sketch on that I used to make the ball, and that was this hemisphere right here, not hemisphere, that this uh, semicircle. Now, I'm going to turn off plane one. If I make a sketch plane that goes parallel to the right plane, and instead of choosing offset, I choose plane point, I'm going to choose that point right there. And now my plane is literally right on that point that's on the surface. That's perfect. That's actually what I wanted. So I'm going to hit check mark. And now I can do the same thing. I can make that the same sort of sketch on that plane. So sketch on this plane right here. And zoom in. I'm going to draw a center point rectangle and go out. It's not going to let me lock in because that's on a totally different surface. So I'm just going to click there and do 0 0.4 by 0.4. Check. I'm going to hide this sketch so it's not getting in our way. All right, so there's my sketch that's right on the surface. Check that out. Pretty cool. So now I'm going to choose to extrude that instead. And when I extrude that as a remove, Again, if I don't want to go all the way through, I only want to go a little bit. So we'll do 0 0.05. And then hit check mark. Now I've made my little bit of a divot in the edge of that circle. All right. So kind of cool. I, lots of different ways you can uh, take curved surfaces like that and do some cuts into them.